The views and opinions expressed on any program are those of the persons appearing on the program and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of the new media factory. Some programs on this network might include strong images and language and may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Technical Thanks for joining us. We know the weather is horrible. Yeah, so I don't know if you can stay safe, everyone. Mm -hmm. Ang hirap ng internet connection ng iba, I'm mm -hmm. sure. Yeah, oh, especially yung mga network-based, yung mga 3G, kung magamit na 3G, even LTE. I, I so, imagine them having difficulty. Kung sino mang nandiyan ngayon, good luck. Uh, Thank, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Nag-imboto nyo kami. We have a special show today. We will feature a few products and uh, one is exclusive, very exclusive. It's the first look of... Uh, Siyempre, we have, uh, they have seen that not here before. Oh, um, dito ni launch yun eh. Pero, Pero mas, dito ni launch. Mas, siguro mas in depth. Kasi yun, no. parang wala pang pa ang pangalan nun, di ba? No. Yeah, yeah. Parang yeah. nadulas lang si yeah, yeah. Kat nung so, after yeah, the show na yun. Wala so, talagang pangalan. Of course, Fox. we're referring to the Star Mobile Night. Yeah. Is yeah. there so we'll just flagship have a phone? Ito ba yun? Add it later? I vote. <laughs> but it looks no, the no. same. Ayan. But we'll get back to it to these phones later. Yes. Mm. Um, before anything else, we have the two Nokias. Yes, yeah, so 820 and 520. Uh oh. And then, um, of course, pag usapan natin ngayon kung ano yare like the past week or oh, the past big few gaming news. Ano? Past uh -huh. few uh, Especially days. Especially sa mga naglalaro gaming pa rin using consoles, ano? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Gusto ko ba yun? Bakit? Gusto yun. Hindi ka ba? Nasa saan ka na ako. Wala na akong console. Ang taga PS2 yung huli kong console eh. One, never ako nagka PS2 eh. Hanggang PS1 lang ako. PS3 lang. PS3. Pero, yeah, pinakita na ng Microsoft and... And PlayStation. Yes. Yung bago nilang next-gen consoles which are reportedly coming in November or December. No, pero yung Microsoft, hindi pa kasama yung Philippines. Ah. Yan yung problema. And the pair still, you can get it as a green market. I imagine Widget City will sell that other online stores. Yeah, you can get the hardware. Ang yeah. problema mo kasi, wala yung online support, online support. Yeah. hindi ka makapaglaro ng online games, yeah. di ba? Yeah, and the, uh, yeah. the problem is, hindi ito pwedeng hindi ah, okay. online. Ah, okay. Dahil online. Mm -hmm. You have to be kailan always online. Man. But we'll still Very look rounds. at it, no? Yung comparison ng dalawa, yung PS4 and the Xbox One. Uh, we actually have uh, info, know, infographic there. There's an infographic there. Infographic I don't know if you can see it, ma, mm -hmm. if it's clear sa inyo guys, but um, it's made, it was made by Ralph Sifra, I believe na nasa ano din yun eh, na feature din yun sa Mashable. One of the famous gaming whatever. No, sa Mashable. Uh oh, yun. So, but he's a he's a Filipino. Uh oh, and then sige, bisa natin kung ano yung mga. Ako lang ako alam masaya tayo sa kanya. Ito talaga yung lagar. Sa mga gaming console. Oo. Ako PC kasi. Let's run down the ano, run down the differences mo lang. The major differences lang. First is yung, um, no, is project name, nakalagay na yung In terms of design. hardware, in terms of uh -huh. uh, hardware, they're both running the same AMD-based uh, uh, architecture. Mm -mm. Pero I, I don't know if it's exactly, the rest of the hardware is exactly the same, pero uh, most of uh, the hardware is the same. Similar. Or, uh, yeah. Oh, really? Ano, 8 gig na. Same din yun, yeah, no? same RAM, 8GB, RAM gig. of course, Blu-ray. Uh, oh. Hindi na, hindi na mag-HD DVD ang Xbox. Blu-ray? Natalo na sila ng Blu-ray. Oh, pa yung Blu-ray. Yeah, kasi before Xbox had uh, no, HD DVD. Ang CPU! Ano yeah. yeah. It's an 8-core yun. Ayan. Yung custom chip na yan, AMD-based pa rin yan. Oh, so, so pareho same, sila. Same again, sila. Again, pareho sila AMD. 
and then yung hard drive niya pareho din 500 gig. Uh -huh. Okay. And so, kasi naman na CD ngayon lahat ng games eh, diba? Yeah. yeah. And oh. that's one of the reasons uh -oh. why uh, Xbox is going uh, to be cloud based most of the time. It uh -oh. will rely on cloud. Kasi uh, yung data rin eh, for the games, like uh -oh. yung mga DLCs, yung mga the downloadable content for the games, kailangan uh, usually din na download yun habang naglalaro ka. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yun yung, yun yung maganda for the new Xbox console. Ah, so uh, parang sa server side lahat ng I process think, eh. I think trend, ganun rin sa PS3. You can download at the same time play. At yung maganda dyan, hindi mo pwedeng gawa ng cheats. Kasi nasa servers lahat ng process. Yeah, and the reason, the reason kung ba't may, ano, uh, yung Xbox, for example, kailangan yung maging online most of the time. Kasi pinaprevent rin nila yung piracy. Mm. Yeah. Na, that's one way of, ano eh, uh, and that's curbing one, That's also piracy. one reason na hindi sinusuportahan talaga ng Microsoft. Ang Philippines. Ang Philippines. Yeah, Philippines. Because what of the high, uh, high oh, piracy rate in the Although they do have right? a Philippine office, diba? Just well, yeah, they have. For Microsoft. But, but for Xbox uh, One, hindi sila nag-carry okay. niyan. Oo. Mm -hmm. So what you can do is buy from Green, Green Hills or other, uh, uh, what do you call it, the stores here. But it's but not the, really Microsoft. Right. So know. and the experience is not complete. Kasi nga, yes. wala ka yeah, yeah. online component. Actually, it's similar uh -huh. to Google. Nung wala tayong Google Wallet. Uh Oo. -oh. Wala tayong Google uh, yeah. Play na yeah, nakakabili ka ng music, contents. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But it's slowly getting there. No? Mm. Buti nga yung iTunes Hopefully. nag launch na ng Philippines to. Oo. Uh -huh. yes. Pero Microsoft wala pa rin. Sobrang late pa rin tayo. Even this year, oh, wala tayo. Hindi tayo kasama. So, in, I believe in one year pa, Darating. Darating. Okay. Yeah. So, so sobrang, sobrang tagal. Mm. Behave muna tayo dapat. So what are the other differences in terms of, kunyari price? Uh, and the price ng PS3? Price is... Mas mahal yung PS... Ano, di ba? I know, Xbox, right? Yeah, mas mahal yung Xbox. By I think it's for $199 the starting price. And for the uh, PS3... Ay, PS4. Nasa sorry. baba pala siya. Uh, $399. Uh, $399. Pero itong uh, Xbox One, mm -hmm. may kasama ng Kinect. Yeah, right? the next-gen Kinect is bundled with the new Xbox, the Xbox One. And the new Kinect has uh, uh, an infrared sensor, so it can detect your heartbeat. So it's the next gen oh. of the. It's really the next uh, gen of uh, gameplay. Yeah, for for yeah. Xbox. Pero ang problema don, ang nag-come up the issue is the privacy issue, di ba? Meron tayo ding mm -hmm. ngayon yeah. na prism, right? Right, right, right. Yung uh -oh. NSA reports na apparently the US government is tracking a lot of text messages, emails, calls yes. uh -oh. of US phone citizens. Yes, uh oo. -oh. Right. At walang targeting na maayos talagang if one. Are you US, US citizens ang ba? Well, I'm sure. Di ba, if well, foreigners, no. some foreigners are calling to the US. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basta yeah. talagang it's a really broad surveillance, ano, uh -oh. surveillance. Oo. So, marami ngayon yung nagsasabi na hmm. Parang, it's very alarming itong, kasi Microsoft is one of the companies na, uh, what do you call this? Involved. Involved, Involved. Dun sa prism na yun, di ba? So, maraming nagsasabi na very alarming yung kitang kita yung... So, pag nagdaro kang first, first person shooter, parang terrorist training na yun. <laughs> Pero, pero ganyan yun guys, pati yung heartbeat nga alam. So, sobrang, sobrang advanced na ng technology na it's just here now. You can't use it without the camera, di ba? I think one of the consoles I saw online na parang... It's online. Always online dapat yung Xbox One. But by contrast, the PS4 will not require any internet connection 24-7. And it can play used games. Yeah. Pero yes. yung yung Xbox One pa din pero alam ko may fee, may bayad. Oo, uh, may extra fee. So parang ganun rin na naka-save ka nga dahil used yung binili mo pero dahil may babayaran kang additional fee for playing that game, ganun rin. Para kang bumili ng bumili brand. Bumili ka ng bago. So, may may really affect ka yung second hand uh, games market lalo na dito sa Philippines, popular ah, very yan. Very popular yung uh, even sa Green Hills ganun yung ginagawa yeah. ng mga tao. Binebenta na lang yung second hand games. Kasi kung natapos mo na naman talaga yung game, what are you going what to do you? next? Yes. Other yes. than uh, maybe rent, uh, allowing someone to borrow it, diba? So, hindi, hindi yun pa, the ayo ng yeah. uh, Microsoft non. And at the same time, you have to log in every 24 hours, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yung Xbox. You have to log in every 24 wow. hours, so. Ano ba yung para hindi ka mamatay, ba nagla? Kasi, yung Xbox ang inaano nila is yung online talaga na experience. Eh. And uh, in fairness to them, they have a good uh, online um, platform. Oh. 
So, pero yun nga, dahil i-require mo yung mga tao na mm -hmm. always online, paano kung kunyari ngayon na intermittent yung connection mo, hindi ka mga connect mm -hmm. Correct. So, hirap ka maglaro. I think, exactly. ano eh, for this one, Xbox is really targeting yung more developed na talaga na countries. Oh, oh. Yun nga, tsaka, yun, you mentioned it, no, but yung internet connection, eh, kumahina naman yung internet mo, so... Yeah. Okay. Sa Pilipinas, alam mo naman. <laughs> Oo, oh, di ba? Hindi, ano man ako sa atin na nagre-rely lang sa mga wireless dongles instead mm -hmm. of having a DSL connection at home. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes, mas mabilis eh, di ba? Oo, oh, mas mabilis. Pero yun nga, eh, kung tuloy-tuloy na kailangan reliable, yung... Hmm. Di ba? Mahirap, yeah. mahirap Hindi pwede yung choppy na, ano. Oo. Oh, oh. yeah. So, siguro, uh, let's wrap this up with the bottom line. What, what do you think will will sell well? What, will, what do you think will do well in... Well, in Not only in the Philippines. Early, syempre, early, ano, yung, what do you call this, um, result, no? Yung mga, ano, ng tao is PS4 pa rin yung gusto, mm. gusto nilang... Yung sa IGN yata, yung sa, nag-poll sila eh, which, which one will you get or parang which is better. Yeah. Even uh, I think 80% 80, 80 of their users uh, said uh, they plan to get the uh, PS4. Sa amin, sa, ano, sa Yahoo! We also we also did that. We asked the readers, and then a lot a lot of them, like Sigur, ninety percent was um, PS4. well, yeah, wanted to get the PS4. Yeah. So, medyo tignan na na lang natin kano mangyayare. But then, as of now, it's more really on S uh, PS4. Yeah, that's yeah. Mm -hmm. I for one so personally you, prefer the the PS. What about PS4? the games, ba? The the games, uh, both uh, device, uh, both systems, both both consoles will have uh, parang ano, uh, what do you call this? Uh, unique games to them, the exclusive titles to them. Mm -hmm. Pero uh, it will really depend on which ones you prefer. For example, if if Xbox user ka fan ka ng Halo, and uh, you'd want to play Halo on the next gen console, and mm -hmm. maybe Xbox One would have to be your uh, your pick. Mm -hmm. Pero for example, if you're a fan of the More PS3 fantasy. exclusive. Uh, Final Fantasy, Final? although they're not out there, eh, sa, 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 even on PC they're not out there. Uncharted, siguro, yung mga games na exclusive dati sa PS3. Mm -hmm. So maybe it would, that's, uh, that would be a big factor then. Hey, pros and cons mm -hmm. talaga. Mm -hmm. uh, pero for now, it's looking like uh, the PS4 is winning the, the battle. Kahit na hindi pa naman binibenta yung mga consoles. So oh, market. Pero marami nang nag It doesn't help that nang nangyayari sa E3 ang ang na, nalaman ng tao the Xbox demo ng E3. Ay, yeah. They were, Ito, they were oh using. Oh my god, <laughs> kung nakita niyo yung isang ano, yung yeah, isang may picture doon. Yeah, online. You can you can look it up. Ang nangyari ng E3. Grabe, no? Yeah. Nag It's just where they launched the the, oh, the, device. the devices. Yeah, tapos biglang nag ano, nag diba? demo sila and then nag Nag, anong nangyari, may isa nang galaro, nag-restart yung, <laughs> nag yung unit niya. And they found out that it was based on a PC, a so high-end PC. So hindi talaga. So hindi nila din hindi siya, yeah, hindi siya mismong Can't demo I... ng Xbox, Xbox One. One. It, it's not even a dev kit. It is a high-end, high-end PC. PC. Tapos ito pang problema, ang gamit is Windows 7 at it's yeah. not even Windows 8. So parang, ang ano ngayon, uh, is Microsoft, um, Parang ready? confident you know, sa uh, Windows 8 Windows nila. 8. Kasi, Anong commitment yeah. nila sa Windows 8 kung hindi nila makalaro yung yeah. mga high-end games nila? Yeah. And it's based, the, the unit, the desktop pala, is based on uh, NVIDIA platform, platform. graphics chip niya. It's supposed to be AMD yung uh, gamit, AMD yung diba? Go -go -go uh -oh. And then, yung ginamit na demo sa E3, yung pang-demo sa E3, yun, um, NVIDIA yung gamit. Tapos Windows 7, again, and then high-end. It's end. a desktop. <laughs> desktop pa. So parang it, it was really it was really an issue. I I, I could yeah. oh, oh. So palpak. Palpak. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Medyo okay. nahirapan sila sa PR na. On that note, I think we go to our first commercial break but oh. um bago lahat uh, of course, we're broadcasting live from Beyond the Box. Yeah, Beyond the Box. Rockwell. Uh, and uh, if, you, if you don't know already, you can catch us live every Monday night sa live.nmfnetwork.tv. TV. That's for or, the benefit of those who are going to oh, download the, okay. this thing. Mm -hmm. But then, so we're also on a iTunes lot of are and on YouTube. Also. Yes. yes. And we're also a finalist at that. <laughs> okay, we go to our commercial break. Thank you. Greetings everyone, and welcome to the Fiber Space, the future where the possibilities are endless. How is this you say? 
because the power of fiber optics makes anything and everything possible. And here to take us deeper into the warp speed power of this new technology is a man that truly understands the fiber space. Head of Technology Services Division of Smart, Mr. Tamayo. Thank you, Luis. Yes, today we will be navigating the complex world of the newest broadband internet technology, that is fiber optic power. With that, Mr. Tamayo, let's begin our tour through fiber space. So this fiber optic power we have been mentioning, can you give us an idea exactly what kind of technology this is? Fiber is a literal piece of thin fiber optics capable of transmitting data at the speed of light. This means you can connect millions of calls, send out billions of texts, and exchange trillions of bytes of data in a single second. It's like broadband internet technology on warp speed. Wow. This is the exact light speed technology that creates endless possibilities for me on the internet. So, sir, what gives Smart the advantage in fiber technology? Well, Smart has four times more fiber network than any other network. We have 54,000 kilometers of next-gen fiber optics network set up all over the country. You can download, upload anything in a flash. So every experience and action turns into just a flash with fiber power. So literally, all that data information is just zooming down a futuristic highway. Imagine a broadband internet as one big four-lane highway. Multiply that lanes by four, and what do you get? That's smart fiber technology. It's like an enormous 16-lane superhighway with only you driving. Imagine the possibilities, how fast you could go. That's how insanely fast smart fiber technology is. Yes, this four times more fiber power is bigger than any other network. And because smart has nationwide coverage, you can do everything in a flash, anywhere. I can see it now, an online life without limits where I can send or receive trillions of pieces of data and information in just an instant, only possible by a thin, tiny cord. It's mind-blowing. Thank you so much, Mr. Tamayo, for taking us through the ultra-modern and light-speed world of fiber space. I already see a and feel next generation. There it is, the most innovative and advanced internet technology from smart fiber optics. Join us in experiencing this cutting-edge power. Join us in fiber space. Oh, guys, I get you know by LTE, fiber space. <laughs> oh, LTE 101, my quiz. Yeah, <laughs> my quiz, kayo ha, pagkatapos <laughs> ito. <laughs> Dapat may promo eh, may quiz to call dyan. Huwag na, pinapreempt mo yung mga so, music facts. <laughs> Maxo Fiber Optic Rocks. Time for companies to leap on it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And then they said Tandaan na, yan, alam, yan. ayun. <laughs> ah, hindi, hindi pa na tayo na pagkilala. Alora, <laughs> Alora, sa hindi man naka, nakakilala sa amin. I'm Alora. Kasi alam namin every week may bago tayong viewers. <laughs> and then Paolo Montesilio and then Monch Lopez. Hello. I know that uh, a lot of you are, uh, are asking of about his ah, phrase. Ah, pasino. Nagagwapuan. Kung yung may self, pag-i-publish may self phone number. Ang kakakalala natin. Yeah. So yan, ah, de, up, update lang ha. May mga nagtitweet lang sa akin eh. Nabahan na daw ang first floor. Or wow. ground or basement level parking ng Mega, Mega Mall Building B. What? First level parking sa Mega Mall. Mega Mall? So mati dito tayo sa Actually, last time din na bumaha doon. Ano, next is week na sila. So if you're going northbound on Edsa from Makati, medyo mabigat na. Northbound on Edsa is really terrible. So, ang bra kanina yung papunta doon. As early as 6.30, wala na talaga makadaan. Oo. As in, stop. Pa paalis namin sa ano eh, sa Bonifacio and Global City. It was really very... Kaya manood kayo ng unbox. Huwag mo na kayong maalis. <laughs> so, dyan na muna kayo. <laughs> so, Pero meron iba eh na nawala, nawala yung feed nila. Mm. But anyhow... Moving on, moving, moving on. on. Let's We talk about two the... Yeah. Very, ano, very red phones. Up for you. Ah, ano ba? Okay. Pag-usapan natin yan. This one is the Ay. Nokia Lumia 820. And... They're supposed to zoom in. There are two. And... We're in business. Turn on the screen. Okay. Yay. Business. Netflix. Yay. So this is the <laughs> Nokia Lumia 820. This has a 4.3 inch display. Um, Low res. I think it's uh, scratch resistant. Naman. And removable yung cover. Kung mapansin nyo. I think. Uh, kung mahawakan nyo siya, medyo, aning, medyo loose actually. Hindi naman sobrang loose. Pero you'd feel so that this is uh, removable talaga. Mm -hmm. So it's an AMOLED display. Mm -hmm. 480 by, by 800. Mm -hmm. It's a resolution, yeah. so that's not too bad. It's a, I think, a, based on a dual core chip and then uh, Adreno, Adreno graphics, Adreno 225. It's uh, the CPU is clocked at 1.5 gigahertz. So it's a fairly decent phone. It has one yeah. gigabyte of RAM and internal storage of eight gigabytes. Mm -hmm. You can expand that with a 64 gigabyte micro SD card. Oh, yung, yung SD card slot nyo, nandito sa likod, you have to remove the cover talaga. Okay, so uh -huh. hindi siya. And removable rin pala yung battery nito. 
Well, at least removable. That's yeah. good. A lot of people actually like having that. Because yung, kasi yung, yung kasi yung I think uh, it's uh, uh, it helps them because sometimes they, they choose to buy another battery, battery. Diba? so an uh -oh. extra battery. But I think so the best convenient. the best feature of this phone is it has LTE connectivity. Yeah. Oh. And I think on all the frequencies that are offered in the Philippines, <laughs> mm. so kahit mapa smart or globe ka, pero oh. dapat smart. Ito, ito smart to. It's uh, it's showing Your 4G unit, right 4G. now. Kung makikita nyo oh. dyan sa Kanina display. Kanina pa namin naka, uh, ano yan, diba? Mabilis siya. Mabilis talaga yung uh -huh. connection. Siyempre, sure. kami ni Carlo, eh, fans kami talaga ng Windows phone oh, operating okay. system. Kaya eh. so, okay, ni Carlo eh. Hi, Carlo! Uh, hi! <laughs> so if you don't know already, it's very smooth. If you haven't tried it out, it's very smooth. Yeah. The problem niya lang talaga, and we do concede this, is Kulang talaga sa apps. The apps so, talaga. The ecosystem. If it comes with the infancy of the ecosystem eh. Mm -hmm. Pero right now, I think, mabagal eh. Mabagal yung pagdami ng apps niya. Kung compared to, compared to Blackberry. Blackberry 10. Oo, which kasi has, ang I think, bilis ng ngayon. Kasi Android based naman yung, yung Blackberry 10 eh. So, hindi na, na pero yung mga native apps yun daw eh. Yung hindi oh. na yung mga ports. I, I think, nasa kasi 100, 20,000 na yata eh. sila ngayon. And Sishin yung si Steve Ballmer dahil dyan. <laughs> Steve, Steve oh. Bomb. <laughs> so, <laughs> ang isa pa niyang downfall, kung mahilig kayo sa Instagram, wala siyang Instagram, pero meron siyang Insta app called Instacam. Cam. And uh, you can use that as an alternative. Yeah. Siguro uh, yung, ano, yung napansin ko lang about developing apps sa Windows 8 mm. compared to uh, Blackberry or Android. Yung uh, UI kasi... Iba, no? Ibang, okay. Iba talaga. Yeah. Yeah. If you Iba notice... Developers. Uh, 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 kasi yung, for example, yung NBA app ng, ng Windows Phone, yung ESPN app nila mm -hmm. ibang iba yung interface compared with Android, Android. And Android yes and yung mas malaki customization sa Android yung you can yeah. see the developers side of design mm -hmm. sa Windows 8 iba eh which is not to say ang maganda yung UI ah mm -hmm. maganda talaga yung maganda UI. talaga siya it's very smooth sa pano really modification ganda ng itsura no? pero yun nga kung magde-develop ka for Android and iOS ang layo nung itsura so, ano, yeah. yung porting doon medyo may ano Oh, unlike since sa Blackberry 10 kasi it's still based dun sa same same architecture they use with Android, Android. kaya pwede siya mag magrun ng apps yes. na EPK, ko-convert mo lang sa bar Mark. na file mm -hmm. tapos pwede mo na siya i-run sa Blackberry 10. Although with with bugs and hitches yun. Expect Sobrang, most of them. Oo, kon, konti lang yung nag-work, diba? lang talaga will, will work perfectly, 100%. Ma, karamihan mga nag-force close. Nag-force close, oo, ang maraming ganun. So magkano to? Ito, uh, this is uh, retailing at 17,250. The Blackberry, mm -hmm. ay, the sorry. <laughs> the Lumia 820. <laughs> it's uh, LTE capable. Ang pinamaganda talaga ng feature, okay. feature niya is uh, it's LTE capable and the camera is pretty pretty good. Yung camera niya is clear. For ano, LTE, what are the other LTE devices? I think the cheapest right now is the Sony Xperia V. Which is how much? I think it was around 17 as well. Pero dun daw sa online stores, 12,000, 13,000 daw yung Xperia V. So, but SRP naman yung inaano natin ngayon eh. Kasi yung 17,000 plus na yan, SRP ganyan eh. Baka 12,000, 13,000. So, it's fairly the same as the Sony Xperia V. So, it's very affordable for an LTE device. It could come down to this or the Xperia V. Pero yun, it's a waterproof device. So, it really boils down to what kind of operating system you want to use. Because same yung ano eh, same yung price points eh. Ano bang pros ng Windows 8? It's very easy to use. It's, yeah. The UI is refreshing. Mas smooth siya. Ang cons. Ah, Alora. Apps. Apps. <laughs> apps, apps, apps. It's really all about the very apps. Very big. Difference. Very, very oh. huge. Oo. Because oh. it's not, for me, it's it's not naman din paramihan eh. Kundi yung mm, quality, quality, not quality, quality ng apps. Because yeah. it's maganda nga, ah, maraming ang apps dyan. Kanyari, it's close to. Puro naman wallpaper. Or fart <laughs> apps, or beer apps, diba? Ah, <laughs> oh, maraming yeah. ganito. Mga oh. soundboard lang, mga umutot. Kung parami lang, lang yun. Okay. Uh, moving on, then, the next device, this uh, is the Lumia 820 again. It retails for uh, 17,250. And that one is the Nokia Lumia 520, uh, which is one. their... Uh, entry level. Yes, entry level phone, the cheapest Lumia... Uh, smart the newest, no? Uh, the newest yeah. and One of the newest and uh, cheapest. cheapest. It, it sells for 7,990. Uh, 7, mm. Much cheaper. So, sobrang mura. Hindi, kasi ito naman. Pala, ang ayaw ko dito is wala siyang... Parita mo sa camera. Wala siyang front. <laughs> wala siyang wala front. Wala 
Yeah, wala camera, siyang front camera. Wala, siyang front camera. wala rin siyang flash. So, sorry, rin flash sa mga nagsiselfies dyan. <laughs> Oo. Oh, kung selfies, likod na lang gagamitin mo. Tapos wala ka pang flash. <laughs> so, obviously, hindi Instagram ang inisip ng ginawa itong phone oh, na ito. Oo. Oh, oh. It's really the price. And Twitter. It's really the price point. For 7,000 pesos, that one's running a dual core, 1 gigahertz. Yes. Not Dragon S4. Mm -hmm. Then, ano pa ba? 4 inch display. Na yeah, 5 inch. megapixel yung rear What's camera. The the camera. Medyo yeah, and, That's uh, not Dragon, no? But it's still the phone. I mean, it's not, it's not the sleekest siya. looking phone. Where's the phone? Yes. So let's, uh, let's try this. That's officially 9.9 mm. And it's a no. Diba? 9.9. Yes. Especially ngayon, syempre ang benchmark mo ngayon is the local phones now, which offer a lot of good looking devices. Well, at least it still looks good. For me, for me. But it's mataba lang. Oo. Kasa... Tapos matte yung cover niya. And it's not removable, unlike yung sa A20, which has a glossy cover. Spray paint. Para na spray paint eh, no? Kakapit mat na eh. Actually, may sila lang yun. Dati si Carlo yun. Parang mas pogi siya pag walang cover. Saan ito? And then for the 520. Ah, okay. Pero syempre dito. Battery capacity is 1,430 milliampers. Very small. For the 520. 4 inches, no? 800 by 480 standard resolution. Tapos, scratch resistant daw yung cover glass. Pero we're not sure what kind. Hindi pa siya corning. Hindi siya Gorilla Glass or Dragon Trail. Hindi na kayo indicate kung corning or Dragon Trail. But it says it's... But it's IPS. Maybe it's so the lime glass, pero it's toughened... Glass ba talaga? But it's IPS. And yeah, then, it's IPS. Uh oh, and then it's a, I believe in pixel density niya is to two two three. Around two hundred or something. Mm -hmm. Two two three mm -hmm. mga ganon. Mm -hmm. uh, PPI. So. There. So parang yung 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 specs niya is what you would find in your uh, entry level dual core, yung locally branded na dual core mm -hmm. handsets. Mm -hmm. So there. Eight Although, gig. Malang tano konte. Eight gig yung internal eight gig memory. Eight gig siya. Uh oh. Di ba yung kapareho niya? Parang well, parang kapareho niya is a Huawei Zen W3 or W1? W1. So the question is, what can justify you buying a Nokia 520? Isa pa palang caveat, sorry. This has 512 MB of RAM only, like the Lumia 720. So, limited ka sa choice of games, kasi some games like, for example, Temple Run na lang. Temple Run requires 1 gig of RAM for Windows phone devices. Ito, 512. So, hindi ito, obviously, pwede mag-play ng Temple Run. So, so... Pwede ka mag-reverse. It's really... So, it's game. In a way na, hindi siya pwede mag-play ng, uh, ng mga ibang games. And, konti na nga yung apps. Mas magagandang games sa uh, Windows Phone to begin with. Hindi mo pa ma... Limited uh, pa yung pwede mo i-play. Because of the specs, no? Uh, so, maybe... Crush kaya ito, wala dito. So, maybe it's, uh, it's not the phone we can recommend as a group. Pero ano, baka mas okay pa yung E20. For Nokia Lumia devices, I really like the Nokia Drive. Ah, yeah. The the clear city lens, saka yung Maps app na yun. Sobrang beta. Iba yun yung ano, diba? Hindi na siya city lens. Here city lens. Here, oh. Kasi hindi na siya Nokia city lens. Pero yung Here Maps naman, it's available on iOS and Android na rin eh. So, baka yung the future. Nokia Drive, you can use it offline. Actually. Ah, okay. So, mag offline. Kasi siyempre sa experience ng Nokia sa Pilipinas, mas malalim na yung database nila compared to other platforms. Oo, ang tagal na nila eh. Sobra. And for a long time, they've been the number one. They were the number one, ano, manufacturer in the Philippines. But they do need a really game-changing phone for them to get back into a position. To be competitive again, yung nga I mentioned off-air, the very believable rumors that came out two weeks ago na magsasaray yung Nokia Philippines. Of course, it was a rumor. Na joke lang. Of course, it was a rumor. Pero, nung narinig natin nung una, parang, pwede mong paniwalaan eh. Kasi, of course, the sales have gone down. But then, we called the the Nokia, a Nokia executive. Of course, it's not true. Malakas pa rin naman sila sa mga feature phones. They said it's not true. Ang atake yata ng Nokia ngayon, ang gusto nilang magpalakas dun sa mid-end saka sa low-end phones. Kaya nila nalabas yung Uh, 520 and yung Lumia 720. Yung nga siya ba? Yung beta? I oh, think so. Oh, eh. Mga Nokia brand Pero loyalty rin na. kasi na. It's still tao. offered sa mga plants ng Smart eh. Or yeah. pati ng Globe, I think. Yeah, but Globe, I think, doesn't oh. offer feature phones na. Hindi, pero the way Nokia wants it to be is they're packaging they, they, the Asha as a smartphone. Yeah, right? oh. parang smartphone. Semi-smart. 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 It's really a smartphone. Yeah. 
Kung baga sa, sa klase nyo, ano lang yan? Uh, honor, honorable mention lang. <laughs> ten minutes, we've got ten minutes daw sa amin ng ating... Ang oh, bilis naman. Ang bilis naman ako ras bilis. Let's move on to the next device. Teka, may commercial pa tayo. Teka, may commercial pa. May commercial pa. Okay, may commercial pa. Okay, may commercial pa. Okay, may commercial pa. Sige, let's go to our break. <laughs> Nagulat ako kita lang sa akin. Greetings everyone, and welcome to the fiber space. The future where the possibilities are endless. How is this you say? Because the power of fiber optics makes anything and everything possible. And here to take us deeper into the warp speed power of this new technology is a man that truly understands the fiber space. Head of Technology Services Division of Smart, Mr. Tamayo. Thank you, Luis. Yes, today we will be navigating the complex world of the newest broadband internet technology. That is fiber optic power. With that, Mr. Tamayo, let's begin our tour through fiber space. So this fiber optic power we have been mentioning, can you give us an idea exactly what kind of technology this is? Fiber is a literal piece of thin fiber optics capable of transmitting data at the speed of light. This means you can connect millions of calls, send out billions of texts, and exchange trillions of bytes of data in a single second. It's like broadband internet technology on warp speed. Wow. This is the exact light speed technology that creates endless possibilities for me on the internet. So, sir, what gives Smart the advantage in fiber technology? Well, Smart has four times more fiber network than any other network. We have 54,000 kilometers of next-gen fiber optics network set up all over the country. You can download, upload anything in a flash. So every experience and action turns into just a flash with fiber power. So literally, all that data information is just zooming down a futuristic highway. Imagine a broadband internet as one big four-lane highway. Multiply that lanes by four, and what do you get? That's smart fiber technology. It's like an enormous 16-lane superhighway with only you driving. Imagine the possibilities. How fast you could go. That's how insanely fast smart fiber technology is. Yes. This four times more fiber power is bigger than any other network. And because smart has nationwide coverage, you can do everything in a flash, anywhere. I can see it now, an online life without limits where I can send or receive trillions of pieces of data and information in just an instant, all made possible by a thin, tiny cord. It's mind-blowing. Thank you so much, Mr. Tamayo, for taking us through the ultra-modern and light-speed world of fiber space. I already see uh, and feel next generation. There it is, the most innovative and advanced internet technology from smart fiber optics. Join us in experiencing this cutting-edge power. Join us in fiber space. Hello, we're back. We're back! We're back on iOS 7 discussion. Okay, before all, we just want to invite Miss Case. Miss Case. Miss Case. She's going to handle our hair and makeup. No photo shoot. No photo shoot. So you can follow them on Facebook, Miss Case. M-I-S-S-K-A-Y-C-E. They're also on Twitter and Tumblr. So that's M-I-S-S... Miss Casey Styles. Miss Casey Styles. You can also contact them on 0917-538-6868 or sa landline 624-0955. Itong mga to, sobrang professional sa makeup and everything. Yeah, yeah. Ibang level. Stylist, oo. Galing, magaling, magaling. So, yun. Okay. So, we'll go to the to our last gadget. Last but not the least. Definitely not the least. Hi, Elijah. Hi. Produkto niya to, eh. Pero si Elijah, si Kat ang babatiin ko. Si Kat. Si Kat. Oh, si Kat. Hi, Kat. Hi, Kat. This is a Star Mobile Night. Yes, sabay. Naksabay po tayo. Sige, go. So, it's a... Actually, this is a flagship smartphone of Star Mobile. It should be, I mean, for all local phones. Ngayon, dapat yan ang flagship nila. Yes. So, kita niyo ang kala ko din pisa may at the side. Um... Ano ba? Nasa ba yung day Itabi mo to, itabi mo to. 7.5mm yung, yung thinness niya. Itabi mo. Ayan o. No? Talagang kila i... Ano? Kung ipagkatabi natin sa iPhone 5 ni oh, Paolo. Oh. There. Parang hindi niya alam kung ano yung Same, iPhone Which 5. is which? <laughs> yung mga, mas manipes ba o magkasing nipes? Hindi ko pa na try it. 7.5 to eh. It's yung night eh. So yeah. I don't know lang kung uh, how thick the iPhone 5. Halos parang halos. Halos hindi mo na rin madidipin. No, no, no. no. The, the iPhone is actually very... Uh, is thinner, I believe. But still, you get a bigger screen with the light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's compatible. It's a form factor. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Yes. So good. It's good. Actually, the first time I got the exclusive pick. Oh. Oh, here you first saw it. Yes. You know, there's no battery. Okay. So running on 4.2 with the Jelly Bean. It's also quad-core using a MediaTek processor, MT6589. 
Mm-hmm. So 1.2 gigahertz yun. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a 4.7 inch IPS display panel. Uh-huh. And maganda dito is using one glass solution. Mm-hmm. So medyo... Ibig um, sabihin nun? Ibig sabihin nyo mas vivid talaga yung colors. Kasi uh-huh. wala na yung gap between the glass and the image that you're actually okay. touching. So yes. And so ano, chassis. Gorilla Glass. Gorilla yung Glass yung protection niya. Um, it's dual okay, SIM. Yeah. One is HP, HSPA Plus and uh-huh. the other one is 2G. Hindi sila nagtipid talaga dito Wait, sa features. Wait, ito ba yung ano? Ito ba yung isa is nano SIM? Isang micro. Yeah. Isang micro, ah, isang regular SIM. Unfortunately, wala pang LTE. Mm. Kasi sinabi ng Star Mobile guys, it's, it's a supplier thing, you know? wala pang... Sa chip wala yun eh. It's wala pang, wala pang low-end chip yung yes. Snapdragon na may LTE module. LTE. Mm. Yes. As then, ano pa ba? Up to 32GB na SD. Ang internal memory niya is 1GB of RAM and 4GB mm-hmm. of internal storage. Mm-hmm. Ah. Camera niya, of course, yun yung you know, kanya. Ah, ito yung oh. pinagmamalag, pinagmamalag niya, diba? Oh. 18 megapixels with dual LED flash. BSI ba? BSI oh. technology. BSI. And sa harap is an 8 megapixel camera with autofocus. Yes. And both can do burst shots. So, so nasa pwede yung zoom. Yeah, pwede oh. mag-zoom. So, so nasa-try namin ito kanina off-air. Ang ganda ng camera niya talaga. Wait, ano? We front tried, camera niya. We even tried pictures. to compare against S4, oh. i5. I think so, it's one of the best, if not the best, front camera. Yung front camera niya is pwede ng rear camera ng most phones. Yes. Even in, in the oh. high-end range. Oh, oh, oh. So, medyo yung test lang natin. Nako, si Elor na kita. Nasaan? Pag ako. I-test lang natin. Pwede mo i-zoom in and zoom out. So it's really oh, nice. front oh, facing yeah. So yan, yan ang yan ang crew ng unit. Yan ang bossing. Yan ang nakabarong diyan na ano. So yung kanina na agad talaga kami. Yung burst shot ba also try na auto focus sa front facing ha. And yung mag burst shots ka. Sige. Ayun, yung mag burst. Yung naman. Oh, front facing camera. Pati hindi ganoon katagal yung processing niya after you take the shot. Usually ano yan? Pag uh, sa back camera. Sa back camera siya. Oh. So oh, parang yung mga features na nakikita niyo sa rear camera, nandun sa front camera. Nandun sa front, camera, sa front. Nandun oh. sa front camera. Oh. Star Mobile Night. Grabe naman yung mukha mo doon. Ha? Wala kanina. <laughs> hindi nga. Pero so, talking yeah. about design, overall, oh. ang ganda ng feel niya, even, even though it's plastic. Yeah. Oh. Uh, talagang pinag-isipan nila kung paano may hold eh. Mm. Uh, of course, alam naman natin kasi yung pinag-ayahan na design. IPhone 5. Pero yung, <laughs> ano eh, for 11,000... SRP. SRP. 11,290. 11,290. Dude, sa akin, okay na yun. 11,290. Hindi kasi nung una, di ba, I had issues oh. before. Nung sinabi na, Kunt- baka 14,000, yeah. yeah. 15. Kunting when, background, di ba? Yeah. No? When oh, we were, yun, oh. we were, sige. Our guess was yeah, yeah. We, we, were are, the, we were discussing it, parang 14 to 15 peso range. Uh-oh. 14,000 peso range. Yes. Which, medyo kapresyo na ng S3. Oo. Mm-hmm. Kasi, sa, yung S3, di ba, may set, may... Uh, 13,000 for uh, 16,000 pala okay, online. So, mm-hmm. so konti na lang kung 14,000 nila ipa-price niyan. Sabi ko, kung 14 yen, konti na lang magkakaroon ka na ng S3. Mm, or... So parang uh the Galaxy Grand, how much in Galaxy Grand? Around 15. Uh, or um, 11, 12 yan tumagal. Oo, oh, so parang konti na lang eh. Although so, in terms of specs kasi, hindi naman malayo eh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pero kasi, of course, you get the global is brand. brand. Oh, oh, oh. You have Samsung and then versus, you, you know, it's it's really the perception. Eh. Mm-hmm. But then, nung sinabi ngayon na it's 11,000, bigla akong nag, biglang nagbago, at least. It's an excellent deal, I have to oh, say. Oh, mm-hmm. kasi it's, ang sabi ko, it's really the, it's really the price point that will. Deal breaker. Oh, oh. Make or break this one, at least for me, not to. So this is a phone that we'll actually use. Na tayo, ah, marami na tayong phone na nagagamit. Mm-hmm. Talaga mong, mm-hmm. pwede mong maging primary phone yan. Kasi dual SIM pa siya. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Dual, dual SIM, SIM micro SIM pa yung isa. Ito, okay. Ito, okay. Ito, okay. Ito, okay. yun nga, walang LTE. That's a small compromise for that price, ah. Okay. Yeah, uh-huh. So, ito yung micro SIM slot, then uh-huh. regular SIM slot, then micro SD. Yung removable, ay yung battery niya hindi removable, yes, diba? the battery is not removable, unfortunately. Oh, yung tanggalin ito. <laughs> yun lang yung, uh, I think, yun lang yung problema ko with the design. Kasi uh, natatanggal yung back cover. Since uh, natatanggal yung back cover, dapat ang ginawa nila, since ni naman natatanggal yung battery, dapat binuo na nila, ginawa na nila ng unibody yung design. Tapos may flip flap na lang. Yes. Oh, sa gilid. May flap na lang sa gilid for the SIM slots oh, oh. and the micro SD slot. 
But this is Pretty good, but because the two different versions. I mean, the one nano. Yeah, and the uh, ne micro. I micro. And then it's sorry, it's regular and it's a re regular sim. But as early as now, when the mga nagbabalak bumili, promise sa inyo, wag niyo tanggalin yung battery, because na ka experience oh. na ako. A different brand pero yung same concept na nakalagay talaga higanting label. Do not remove the battery. Pag tanggal ko and binali ko, hindi ko na na-on yung unit. Tsaka ulo ko siya siya. Hindi kasi dapat ginagawa in the first place. Oh. Yes. Kaya ako kayo do not Sinabing remove wag, battery. Eh. Sinabi ko, oh. curious na nga ako. Hindi eh. <laughs> naman yung mattress na do not rip off the tag na... <laughs> so, <laughs> let, let's ano, siguro wrap up with your final thoughts, you guys. Well, what do you think of the Star Mobile night? Pao. Ako for me, talaga it's a good deal and if I had the money, at kung wala na ako mga phones na nagagamit. Mm -hmm. It's a good yun nga, mabibili mo talaga siya eh. Magandang I mean, it's a good looking phone. Right? Yun yes. nga eh. It's a good looking it's phone. Good looking Hindi phone. ka mahihiyang ipapakita sa iba kasi Android nga lang, 4.7 inch. <laughs> May Google yeah. no 4.7 inch in this video. Siguro ano lang to, ang um, hmm. pagiging pros and cons mo against sa uh, ibang let's say local phones. brands. Yeah. Yung at the at the lower price point for you get the same specs. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, you get the same specs at the bigger screen. But for this one, yung binabayaran mo din talaga is number one is Gorilla Glass. Mm -hmm. Iba pa rin Gorilla Glass laban sa Dragon Tail. Eh. Uh -huh. Then you also get the one glass solution. So, so, so medyo mas dumadagdag yung ano nila, improvement na hindi halos napapansin ng users masyado. Mm -hmm. How about you? Ako sayang lang kasi hindi I mean I I've said my piece kanina. It's really all about the price for me. Because yun yung question ko eh. I was really just waiting for them mm -hmm. to announce the price. Because kung fourteen fifteen sabi ko ayo ko. Talo. Oh oh oh. Pero at this yan. price halos lugi na sila. Eh. Oh oh oh. <laughs> but then um, sayang kasi hindi namin ma ipapakita yung sample photos namin because yeah. we had we're we're having difficulties nga uh, here right now. Mm -hmm. But then we tell you maganda maganda yung quality no. Yeah. Ganda yung quality ng so, Even the front yeah. camera, pwedeng pang selfies talaga. <laughs> it's it's running Android Jelly Bean pala, 4.2.1. 4.2, oo. Yeah. And uh, ako naman, I think, this since 11,290 nga nila this is really a good deal. Kasi uh, on other devices within that price point, nandiyan yung Alcatel, OneTouch, uh, Scribe HD, which is 13,590. 13, I believe. Like and that. then yung Cherry Mobile Omega HD 2.0, Two. which is 8,999. Mm -hmm. So mga 9,000 peso devices, 90, mm -hmm. 10,000 peso device. Kung ako papapilin between that and this, siguro ma mas prefer ko yung mas magandang camera. So for, for a small ano lang, difference in price. Mm -hmm. So maybe it will come down to that. Na kung ano yung mas gusto mong uh, feature. If you want to have a phone that has a really good camera, front camera, then I suggest go for the... Okay, nine Star Mobile 9. Okay. okay, on that note, we can wrap up. <gasps> Thank you, I that's guess? our show. Um, I think we'll have our season finale next week. Next mm -hmm. week? Oh. See our oh. guest, you See... See hello, Ja. Si Kobe. Si Ashley. So please don't forget to vote for us. Best tech or best tech of where now in the blog, podcast, whatever, sa TAT Awards. Hindi ko alam po bakit. So, vote for an unbox podcast. Wala kaming giveaway. Wala kaming giveaway. But thank you guys. Thank you for watching us. And then please download this episode. And keep safe. We'll share a file na lang din para makakita na ng buong size yung picture na from the Star Mobile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll Alora will that. post it on Twitter. Okay. Alora yeah. Guerrero on Twitter. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Keep safe, please. Keep safe. Stay dry. Parang John Lloyd. Next.